Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are still working on Love's Labor's Lost and today we get to hear from Moth. Great name. Uh, we are in Act 3, Scene 1, or as it is otherwise known, just Act 3, because there aren't really scene delineations in this play. Moth is Don Adriano de Armado's page, but he's a little bit smarter than Armado is. And the two of them start off the scene if you remember the last time we saw Armado, he admitted that he was in love with Jacanetta and that he might have to write a letter at some point. Well, by this point, he has written said letter and needs to get it from himself to Jacanetta, but obviously he can't do that himself. So he has had an idea that he's going to have Costard deliver this letter as his messenger. So he gets Moth and he's like, Moth, I, I need you to go and, and free that silly man so that he can do a favor for me. And Moth is like, what, you're going to you're gonna go try to win your lady? Like, how do you plan to win your lady over? And they use the word brawl. Do you plan to win your lady with a brawl kind of a thing? And then um, our motto refers to brawling in French, which brawling as we know it now is fighting. Brawling back then was dancing, but also apparently a metaphor or a, um, not a metaphor, a euphemism for self-pleasure. So, <laughs> Moth, uh, uh, so Armado's like, wait a second, you, you want me to win her by brawling in French? And Moth says, no, my complete master. But to jig off a tune at the tongue's end, canary to it with the feet, humor it with turning up your eye, sigh a note and sing a note, sometime through the throat, if you swallowed love with singing, love sometime through nose as if you snuffed up love by smelling love with your hat penthouse like or the shape of shop of your eyes with your arms crossed on your thin belly doublet like a rabbit on a spit or your hands in your pocket like a man after the old painting and keep not too long in one tune but uh snip it away these are compliments these are humors. These betray nice wenches that would be betrayed without these and make them men of note. Do you note men that are most affected to these? So, yes, it's a little bit of a weird speech and it's because a lot of the euphemisms that they used back then we don't actually use in the same way now, but he, it, it sort of feels like he's talking about Armado being a player and maybe he should be a player in this respect and like not not necessarily just buckle down to to one woman because all the men around seem to you know they woo however they need to woo to get what they want so they can get in and get what they want and get out that seems to be the fashion of men these days is sort of what moth is saying so they they keep talking a little bit longer and there's a lot of innuendo that goes back and forth between the two of them and our motto messes up a lot of words and says the wrong words and moth kind of makes fun of him for saying the wrong words by pointing out how silly the misusages are and that sort of a thing until finally our motto's like well just go just go get costard just go get that swain because i need him to deliver this letter so costard shows up and there's a little bit more back and forth and our motto finally says you know what i'm going to give you your freedom because remember costard was arrested for canoodling with jacanetta in a park he was arrested by our motto our motto's like you know what i'll give you your freedom and i'll pay you a remuneration if you take this letter and give it to Jacanetta. And then he he leaves in a in a puff of, of Don Armado silly speech. And Moth is like, mm-hmm, yep, me too, peace out. And he leaves after Armado. And Costard is very excited by the word remuneration. He thinks that it's a good thing. He thinks that it probably has something to do with money, which it does. Um, so he's he's very excited about that. And then Barone comes in and tomorrow we get to hear a smidge from Barone as the scene as the scene wraps up. But yeah, today <sighs> today was Moth telling our motto to, you know, maybe be a player. And who said Shakespeare was stuffy? Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow for more.